What is up, guys? Flip on War Team here. And yeah, to start, uh, I actually have a, uh, a turn count, uh, like an S tech against Rex. Uh, yeah, we actually got pretty lucky in this one off screen. Got him down to 50 life points, but I had uh, two of the Maiden of the Aqua in my opening hand, so that's definitely going to be some good EXP for him, so definitely glad about that. Oh, okay. Yuri <laughs> Siki. Oh, Maiden of the Aqua has been promoted. Good. That's a good way to start the episode. I'm glad I decided to, uh, to do a turn count rule to start this. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's try to get Mammoth Graveyard here. 3, yeah. Oh, well, we got Breath of Light instead. Okay. Uh, Mammoth Graveyard. That's 1, that's 2, that's 3. Ooh, missed by 1. That's 1, that's 2, that's 3. Oh, missed by 1. But Breath of Light is a pretty good card. With its 50 deck cost, nothing else is good to reincarnate. So, yeah, we have now been promoted to Colonel. All right. Well, you guys know what that means, or uh, maybe you don't. Allow me to explain what that means. So let's, uh, yeah, as per the ranking challenge, you guys know the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses ranking challenge rules. Um, we can't, we're not allowed to duel anyone if they are, yeah, if they are higher ranked than us. Basically, our deck master has to have an equal uh, or higher um uh, yeah, deck deck uh, leader ranking than uh, the opponent. So, um, oh, also now uh, Maiden of the Aqua comes with this. Now that she's reached uh, Colonel ranking, yeah, increased strength for same type friendlies. That's a pretty good ability. So everything within her summoning range will be uh, increased by 500 points. Not bad. So now uh, again, I don't want to uh, invalidate the ranking challenge or anything, but I think. In fact, I'm pretty sure we can fight a new opponent here because I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure that, uh, yeah, the duelist over here is at Colonel ranking. So let's go talk to him. Um, if I'm wrong, we'll just surrender, you know. But uh, yeah, let's go talk to him. Darkness ruler, you dare to challenge the dark deck of the darkness rulers? <laughs> Rogues do this or not, you don't stand a chance against my enormous chin. <laughs> now let's turn down the lights. My castle of dark illusion will will shroud my monsters in darkness. <laughs> All right, guys, and let me check his uh, ranking here. Uh, yeah, so we are now Colonel. That's awesome. And yes, he is at Colonel. Yeah, so this is um. Uh, Panic, as I'm sure you guys know from season season one. Uh, yeah, he's at King of Yami Makai, Colonel, ranking for his deck leader. So that's okay for the ranking challenge. Uh, and yeah, he has an ability too, I'm pretty sure. Same as us. Increased strength for same type friendlies. Uh, but this guy, as far as his main strategy, let me turn this down a little bit, maybe so you guys can hear me better. But, uh, yeah, that probably sounds good. So as far as this guy's main strategy, uh, one thing you want to know... This guy loves, 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 loves to play trap cards. So, you basically, it's going to be a different style of dueling as far as him versus everyone else. But now, check it out. Thanks to our deck leader ability, uh, you know, normally Maiden of the Aqua here would only be at 2,500 due to her nature effect increasing by 400. <laughs> but thanks to our new deck leader ability, now she's at 2,900 turn one. That's crazy. That's crazy, crazy. That's good. That's good. All right. So that's probably a trap card. He just played right there. So let's do something about this. Let's, uh, hmm. Let's just set Furious Seeking right here. Let's start building a wall kind of right here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to actually show you guys somewhat of an interesting strategy in this duel. Well, I hope to, anyway. Oh, that's actually a monster. Well, he left the zone, and he summoned it turn one, so it can't be, yeah, <laughs> Lord of Zemaya. That's what I was going to say. It can't be that powerful, right? Hmm. Anyway, a uh, new attack animation. Let's watch. Let's crank it back up. Whoa. Man, he 
just like charged up a Kamehameha Meha right there, the Lord of Zemaya. I mean, that's that's honestly that's one of the cooler attacks we've seen so far. <laughs> and it's on a regular, you know, 1300 attack, uh, fiend monster of uh, the Yami field. Wow, that's so crazy. Like, normally when I'm playing this game by myself, he hardly ever plays that card. Like, it takes, it seems like it takes forever for him to uh, even play that card. So I'm definitely going to try to win it in the slots if we can, but that's crazy. Maybe he got triggered to play it because... Because I have um, some C terrain out, but I've never seen this guy just play it so early. That's interesting. Well, anyway, let's counterattack with the Furious Sea King. Uh, normally we'd crash here, but thanks to the uh, yeah, thanks to the boost from Main of the Aqua, uh, we will be victorious. So prepare to face my lightning staff. Poseidon's lightning stuff. Nice. See ya, Lord of Zamaya. Alright, man, and honestly, it feels pretty good dueling a new opponent, man. I know we didn't unlock Mana Keith, you know, too long ago, but yeah. All hail the king. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you're beginning to panic. I'm not going to panic. All right, let's just move forward and end the turn. So, so, so far, this guy hasn't done what he normally does <laughs> whenever we duel them, which, or whenever I duel them, but just play a lot of trap cards. Um, I got a feeling this is one, though. So let's check things. Okay, let's uh, do this. Okay, now let's attack with... Let's try Furious Seeking. Let's try it. Oh, the attack works. Wow. So that must be a monster as well. Well, guys, uh, he's at 1,400 life points, so we win. Um, doesn't matter who takes the hit. I guess Kairushin is pretty high ranked. So let's give Kairushin the direct attack. Tons of type. And I'll definitely be trying to win that Yami card, buddy. All right. Also, his deck leader, I think if you get three in a row for it, it gives you some pretty good stuff, so... Alright, let's really focus here. Alright, you win! Nice! Alright! <laughs> Heck yeah, we're Colonel now. Alright. Okay, Yami Field Spell. Okay, let's focus. That's one. Ooh, little late. Josh? Oh, a little early. Okay, okay. Oh, I missed it. All three times. Man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe he'll play it again, though. Maybe he'll play it uh, early since we're playing our Umi deck. Anyway, let's see what he has to say. Uh, no, this is impossible. How could I lose? The darkness will always last. Flood. <laughs> Give me that rose card. All right, guys, and we have, yeah, four rose cards now in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses ranking challenge. Okay, so with that being done, um, let's see, it, yeah, once you beat uh, Panic, it doesn't unlock any new paths or anything, but uh, yeah, uh, let's see. I wonder, I don't know if, we are Colonel ranked. I wonder if we can face this duelist. Hmm. I'm not gonna try this episode. We're just gonna take on uh, uh, Panic again because that was a pretty short duel, honestly. Uh, so we'll take him on again. Uh, yeah, good start to the episode though. And uh, let's see if we can get this guy to play his, you know, you know, normal strategy of a lot of trap cards. Uh, but yeah, I'll check in between episodes to see if we are allowed to duel a uh, necromancer, aka bones, you know, by the rules of the ranking challenge. Uh, nice main of the aqua again to start. But I think I'm actually going to start with this trap card right here. Okay. Okay, he's going to move forward. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's move this to defense mode. Not bad. Okay. And then I will summon a monster. Look 
let's go with... Kairushin. Seems pretty good. And we'll end the turn. Okay. Oh, and he didn't attack us this time. Okay. So... Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Okay. All right, I'll move my leader by infinite dismissal. Um, hmm. I've got a pretty bad feeling about his, uh, what's behind him there. So let's attack him with, let's just go in with Rock Ogurado. I got a feeling he's got a trap for sure. No, man, this guy is proving me wrong today. Um, now Rock Ogurado is pretty weak at only, you know, 800 attack. So I am gonna run over it here with Kairushin. Uh, believe it or not, this guy has some really, really powerful fiends, uh, especially when his deck leader's in range, and he can and has OTK'd me uh, before, so yeah, be, be careful, I'd say. Okay, with that being done, let's, yeah, let's run Psychic Kappa in because its effect means we don't take any damage. So even if this is a monster, I'm good. There we go. Infinite Dismissal Trap Card. Okay. There we go. Now this guy's playing some trap cards. All right. Uh, let's move Kairushin. What I want to do, I think what I actually want to do is leave Kairushin here. And let's just change the field to water. Yeah, like right here. That sounds good. That sounds good. Alright, and we'll kind of threaten him to maybe maybe the AI will do something stupid and run over its own card, you know. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Let's end the turn. This guy actually has a really, 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 really broken trap card. Uh, ooh, fusing. That's potentially not good. Ah! I'm glad I put on battles. Check this out. Yeah, Summon Skull, one of Yugi's signature monsters. And now we get to see it in action. This is a pretty exciting episode. All right. Go, my Summon Skull. Lightning Strike. option for us right now is probably to defend, yeah. So I assume he's going to take down Psychic Kappa, but this is kind of why I'm glad I changed the field of water, because we can go with Main of the Aqua, and we'll end the turn. Wow. Alright. Wow, I'm, su I'm surprised he pulled out Summon Skull, and uh, I guess I can go to the graveyard uh, after this turn and show you guys what cards he fused in order to make Summon Skull. Because it is pretty cool. You can make someone's cool in just about every deck in this game. And yes, yeah, sure, we'll see it in stereo. Now, my summon's call. Lightning strike. That, that looks so awesome. <laughs> Mode, huh? All right. 
So let's, yeah, do that. Um, 2,500. Let, yeah, let's check his graveyard. So he fused, yeah, Man Eater and tre Treasure Chest. Just, just a normal 1,600 feet. With this card, this is the key to summon Skull Fusions. Job Change Mirror. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. Just a normal fiend with a 2,100 uh, uh, deck cost. But yeah, if the fiend's over 1,600 and isn't Ryukushin power specifically, it will make summon Skull every time. Pretty cool, honestly. Pretty cool. Um, okay, well, we got Kairushin. That's good. Um, so if I retreat, his summon skull is going to be... Oh, we have infinite dismissal. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, let's just retreat. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's play Aqua Chorus here. Because uh, summon skull should trigger my trap card. So we'll be able to stall a little bit and uh, come up with a solution to it. Not bad, Panic. Not bad. I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm proud of you. Good job. Good job on that summon skull. But now, go trap card. Yeah. A trap for a trap. An eye for an eye. I play infinite dismissal on your monster now. Aha. Now your summon skull will be out of action for three turns, Panic. We'll move over here. Um, ooh, we can make Aqua Dragon. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so let's uh, do this. Okay. And now, uh, ooh, Aqua Dragon can actually take down Summon's Skull. But I want Aqua Dragon here. Yeah, definitely. All right. And once I play the other Maiden of the Aqua uh, next turn, I will play it right here and then probably play uh, Aqua Chorus. So, because this guy doesn't have any waters like Rex, so feel free to play Aqua Chorus whenever you like. Alright, you gonna attack me, bro? Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Yeah! What you got? King of Yami Makai! Well, now I'll use Aqua Dragon's effect to change the terrain to sea, and that'll be in my favor. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an epic battle right here. Let's check this out, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I remember that as a kid, you know. King of Yami Makai's attack always looks so epic. And it Hydro Stream of Destruction. That's why Aqua Dragon's so good, man. Changing the field like that. Yeah, it's definitely game determinative at times, for sure. All right. And down goes his deck leader. Nice. All right. And the sh Well, I don't know if it's game over or not, because this could be a trap card. Hmm. Let's make sure... We can actually test if it is a trap card. So let's do something a little foolish. Let's move Maiden of the Aqua here. Okay. So that activated that card. Okay. And then let's play this Maiden right here. Face up defense mode, as I said. And then let's play Aqua Chorus now. Yeah, and this should only power up our monsters. Very good. And it's risky, but I'll try going for game here. Aqua Dragon for the win. Yes, nice. He didn't have any other traps. That's good. All right, and that's it, guys. With that, we win against Panic. And uh, if you're wondering, does Summon Skull show up in the graveyard slots if you defeat it? Um, no, actually, it does not. Oh, uh, well. I'm going to double check on that between episodes, actually. I'm pretty sure it does not, but it's been a little while since I played this game. I could be wrong. Okay. Okay, good. We got job change room. That's good. Let's try to get three in a row. Oh, no. Well, infinite dismissal is a good trap. Let's try for Tears of the Mermaid, then. Uh, oh, well. We got the combo. We got, uh, yeah, Job Change Mirror plus uh, Man Eating Treasure Tress, which he used to make someone's goals. So, all right, guys. Well, this has been a pretty fun recording session, honestly. Uh, and it's only episode one. So, uh, but with that, I think I'm going to save here. And I'm going to end the episode here, guys. And in the next episode, I'm going to check on other people. I know for sure we're not at the right ranking to take on this guy. Uh, hmm. 
Yugi boy, you know, Pegasus. Uh, but I will check on these other two guys, Labyrinth Ruler and uh, Necromancer. Yeah, I'll check on their uh, uh, ranking, their deck leader ranking, and see if we're eligible to duel them. All right, but uh, if we're not, we're probably just going to take on Darkness Ruler just because it's so nice to take on a new opponent. So we're probably going to take him on a few times and then, you know, make the usual rounds against... Uh, Rex and Keith, you know, see if we can get them in a turn lock to where they don't want to summon. But alright guys, thank you for joining me. Pretty cool episode, and I will see you guys all next time on Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, the ranking challenge. Alright, have a good day.